I recently made a video showing how you can digitize your old VHS tapes like this or VHS-C tapes like this using this Elgato uh, digital conversion device. works really well and I have hundreds of videotapes which I've already digitized. I got to organize all those files that worked real well. But I also have hundreds of three and a half inch floppy disks with photos on them that I took using this Sony Digital Mavica camera before I got my first iPhone. And uh, so all the photos are on these three and a half inch disks. Of course, none of them are the kind of resolution you get with the modern iPhones, but in any event, there is a device which I got off Amazon. This is it. It's called a uh, Wintel, I believe. That's easy to read these, these three and a half inch floppies and put them on your computer. And I'm going to show you how to do that. This is a screenshot of the Wintel device I ordered off Amazon. You can see it's showing here. I just took that this morning, $25.98 USB floppy drive, and it works pretty good. So far, we'll see how it holds up, but right now I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, I've got my Finder window open. I've created a uh, file here for three and a half inch disk saved. Now, when I first bought this, I thought it wasn't working. I didn't see it show up on my Finder, and uh, it I thought it was broken, not working. But when you plug a disk into it, you put a three and a half inch floppy in there, and here it's starting to spin up. I thought, well, it is working. Let's see what happens. Now it shows up as untitled. And there they are. It's all the pictures that were in there. So it's really that easy to use. Now, before you pop this disc back out, pushing that button, it's best to click on eject. And there we go. Put in the next one. That's all the files in here. This is some of my wife's old horse statues and some other family pictures. And uh, I just double clicked on that. And there it is. Shows one of the horse statue pictures. This was taken a long time ago. Back in 1997. But we still got them. I'm going to save them on iCloud and on a, an external hard drive to keep these things a little better saved. But uh, to put them on iCloud, all I got to do is, uh, that's not the one I want. Let's see, let's go over here to another Finder window. Now, this is my iCloud drive, and I've got this file three and a half inch disk saved. So I'm just going to open that up, and I've already got this in here. I'm just going to show you what you could do. See, all I have to do is select all these things i can just do probably select all let's see yep and just drag these things over into my icloud folder and there they go it's that easy so hope you enjoyed this if you did please like the video subscribe uh we really appreciate it and thanks for watching